First carry for James Conner. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. To throw, it's Murray. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. Here's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. There are the numbers for Cook from a week ago. One rushing touchdown, yes, but look at the rushing yards. He was up near 200. The one phrase I'd use to describe that performance, he carved up that defense. From just shy of midfield, Mon. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Mon looks to throw on first down. He'll get that to Amir Smith-Marset. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. Touchdown, Vikings! Irv Smith Jr., his first touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are on the board first here this afternoon. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shotgun now for Murray. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
Here's Connor on the read option. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. From the 39, Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Oh, Connor loses it. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Murray going to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team is going to show up every week. I mean, there's no consistency with this ball club at all. And if we feel that way, I know it frustrates the coaching staff. And it also has to frustrate the key leaders in the locker room. They got to figure out how to get coordinated. They run again on first down. Cook and some space here. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. 82 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Now a handoff to Chandler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Cook up the gut. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. Again, it's Cook. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. I'm looking down from our booth. You can tell this crowd wants them to go for it right now. <laughs> and believe me, he knows it. And he's weighing that through his head right now. Actually trying to filter that out because this needs to be a cold decision by him. Not influence. And he'll get in. Dalvin Cook, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They start the drive with Connor. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. 
And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, here's Murray. Able to get this one to McBride. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass, and they get 12 yards out of it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Murray now to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. To throw on second and 10. Murray, screen pass to Connor. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. So they'll wind up losing seven on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage. So that's a sack. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in on 95 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. The last run got six, now second and four. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They're able to convert with a gain of four. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last run puts him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. Mon's throw pulled in by Jefferson. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Mon going to throw it. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. They give them five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, this defense for the Cardinals, they played really well in that win last week against Miami. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. 